begin to declare over my degree begin to declare begin to declare God's mercy over the city over the over the territory in the name of Jesus now can I can I just say some few words? Can I say some few words? You know, sometimes you know the the realm of the spirit is a dimension that all of the revelation we've read in the scripture, all of the, revel- the principles we've seen in the Bible well, is actually God's provision to be able to make available to a man to be able to understand how to engage in a certain dimension and density of interactivity with the realm of the spirit. Every comprehension or every encounter we have with God is actually a baptism into a revelation or a, a, a realm of understanding that opens us into diverse and limitless ways we can engage with the realm of the spirit. Now, coming down to our, let me just try to be very as simple as possible. We cannot understand, sometimes we cannot understand what God is trying to say in the spirit until we be able to be able to explore and ask him to supply us with the wisdom to be able to understand the things that are happening in the physical. In other words, we cannot understand what God is saying in the spirit without first of all understanding what God is doing in the physical. Sometimes what God is doing, what God is trying to tell us in the physical is, is an indication of certain things he's been trying to reveal to us in the spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If we don't understand, if our spiritual understanding has not gotten to a certain level of of uh, growth, the fastest way for we to understand what God is saying in the spirit is to be able to understand what God is doing in the physical. Hallelujah. You know, that's uh, for the flood in Medjugorje started how many days ago? Tuesday. And most of us, when we see events like this that happen, we normally approach it with sensual perception. But there's more to what is happening in Medjugorje through the flood than what we understand. Amen. Now, by the mercy of God, I've been privileged to adventure to have certain dealings with God in the area of the prophetic. And one of the strongest dimensions of the prophetic that God has used to teach me the strongest lessons in the short life I've lived by the mercy of God is what I call symbolic prophecy. Sometimes God wants to speak to us. He has done everything within his power to ensure he gets our attention, but we are not seeming to align. So God allows certain things to begin to happen in the physical in an attempt for we to understand what he's been trying to say to us in the spirit for long. Hallelujah. Now, let me read the scripture. This scripture will make a sense to what I'm going to be saying. Then we'll pray. Because that's, if there is anything that makes prayer very easy and very effective, is you praying with understanding. Amen. When God is able to supply all certain enlightenment or certain revelation through his word, now it makes prayer easy. The prayer that can produce results is not the one that is prayed for long. In as much as protracted prayer is very powerful, but what the Bible is talking about, the effective uh, prayer of the righteous man it is beyond you praying it is not about the volume of prayers neither is it about the loudness of it you must understand that one of the things that makes our prayer very effective is how much of light we are able to get from the scripture now in the book of Jeremiah chapter I read this scripture and the Lord began to speak to me concerning the reason for the flood in Medjugorje Amen <laughs> Hallelujah it's an indication of something that God is trying to say in the spirit because there are revival that is about to be released in the territory of Medjugorje that is yet to be comprehended. So God permitted the flood to, to, as a physical event that God is attempting to use to come. Even with the event unfolding the physical, a lot of people are yet to comprehend the essence, the spiritual essence of that happening. Amen. 
Jeremiah chapter 47. Jeremiah 47. Sorry, Apostle, for taking this time. Please, can we celebrate Apostle Jonathan? That was a powerful exposition. Powerful. I was so edified. Are we in Jeremiah 47? Amen. Jeremiah 47 verse 2. Jeremiah 47 verse 2. And they say, Thus says the Lord, Behold, waters rise up out of the north and shall be an overflowing flood and shall overflow the land and all that is in daring the city and them that dwell therein then the men shall cry and all the inhabitants of the land shall what? How? Now there is something that God is about to do in Medigree. Amen. Medigree is very strategic to the agenda of God in the nation. That was why it was very convenient for Boko Haram to originate from that vision. In the same way Boko Haram originated from that region and is able to spread across every look and crane in Nigeria, in the same way, the revival that God is about to birth that start from there with the symbol of the flood is an indication of what certain things that God is about to visit. Amen. Amen. And what is called revival to a city can also reveal the judgment of God upon certain people in the city. Hallelujah. So the reason why the flood that is happening in Medjugorje now is not just a coincidence. It's a prophetic coincidence that God is trying to reveal something. That has, that has been certain activities of darkness that have been covered. By the reason of the flood, God is unearthing, is releasing and revealing, is exposing certain oppression of darkness. And by so doing, by the doings of God, by the reason of this flood, God is going to expose, there are certain things that are going to be exposed naturally. You know, one thing about the flood, one thing, anytime you come across the word flood in the scripture, I think the first flood that happened in the Bible happened in the book of Genesis chapter 6. The Bible says from chapter 1 and two, verse 1 and 2, spoke about when the sons of men begin to engage in certain level of fraternity with the daughters of men. The Bible said they saw the daughters of men to be, to be very fair. And the Bible said when they begin to fraternize, there was a genetic modification that happens. Amen. Hallelujah. There was a genetic modification that happened. And the Bible says, goes... <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm trying to constrain myself not to begin to do a teaching because he has done all of the teachings. So, and the Bible mentioned that that union that happened between the sons of God and the daughters of men was actually what gave birth to the Nephilim, the giant. And the Bible saw that by the reason of that evil began to increase in the land. In an attempt for God to correct that, God had to permit a flood. Hallelujah. So if you are the student of history, you acknowledge with me that Boko Haram actually gained its origin from that region. Every activity of banditry, terrorism, and Boko Haram can gain its origin from there. In the same way they were able to spread to every look and credit in Africa and in Nigeria, in the same way also the flood that is happening began from there, but it's going to extend to governors. The Lord said is going to expose certain corruption that has been happening in strategic corridor of powers. And the flaw that happened is a fiscal indication to reveal that which God is about to do in the nation of Nigeria. And the Lord shall say that there is going to, is going to expose certain oppression of darkness. There are evil agenda, that are there are entities that have been engaged that have aligned with darkness to ensure that the agenda of God in that territory is not manifesting. God said by the reason of this flood that there shall be a manifestation of his power. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> and the Lord is saying that I see that the Lord is going to begin to do that as a spiritual awakening that is going to happen in, in Medjugorje. And not just Medjugorje, around the north region, there is going to be an expose. I see the Lord causing confusion even in the camp of the enemies. Because I see by the reason of the event that happened, the flood, God is going to begin to cause the evil men to begin to fight themselves by themselves. They will begin to kill themselves by themselves. Hallelujah. And in the body of Christ, there is going to be a renaissance, there is going to be a revival, a reawakening in the city. 
if there is any time we need to align with God in the nation of Nigeria is now. That's why I would recommend for you tomorrow's meeting is going to be very prophetic. Apostle Jonathan is going to be very, very prophetic. Amen. If you read the scripture, the Bible mentioned that when the rain began to fall, before the rain began to fall, the Bible said the man that was able to align to God with God, that God was able to reveal to him what and what to do in order for him to be able to take advantage of the revival that is coming was a man by the name of Noah. And the Bible said God gave him a blueprint on how to build an ark. The Bible said the rain fell seven days. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now, between the day that the rain began in, in Meduguri and now, you will count, numbers are not just, are not just, uh, what do they call it? Uh, numbers are prophetic in the spirit. Amen. The Bible said the rain fell in Genesis chapter 6. The rain actually fell for seven days. And when the flood flooded the city, the flood lasted for 40 days. And I see that, that prophetic meaning of that also extending in Meduguri. There is something that God is about to do. There is something that God is birthing in Meduguri that the church will need to, to align. Hallelujah. If there is any time we need to begin to align with God to begin to receive the things that he's doing in this season is now. Can you open your mind and begin to declare and begin to ask that let the mercy of God be extended upon, upon Medjugorje, upon Nigeria. Let the hand of God be mighty upon the city. Let the hand of God be mighty upon the nation. Let the hand of God be mighty. Let the of be mighty. Let every, by the reason of this spiritual prophetic event, all of the enemy has hidden in darkness, let let it be exposed in the name of Jesus. Let it be exposed in the name of Jesus. Let it be exposed in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name we pray. I join my faith with Apostle Jonathan. And we ask the Lord over the city of Medigree that let your mercy, let the flood of your mercy flow in the name of Jesus. All that the enemy has hidden in darkness, let it be on earth in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy expose every oppression of darkness. Let your power flow. Let your glory flow. Let there be alignment. We we'll pray the Lord, let the mantle of revival fall upon the church and upon the nations of Nigeria upon the nation Nigeria. Lord, we pray for the president Tinibu, Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Lord, we pray that let your mercy be extended upon him. And we pray that every conspiracy that the enemy is planning in the corridor of power, let every conspiracy be exposed yes. in the name of Jesus. By the economy and the advantage of God's mercy, let, the consp let every conspiracy of darkness be unfold. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Can we celebrate the Lord? Powerful, powerful word. Amen. We'll close now. Um, for our precious people in Beiduguri, please just stay connected to our social media handles. We'll find out if we will have physical service next Sunday. But whether physical or online, the series will continue. This prayer and prophecy will be online so you can watch it and keep praying let's share the grace as we go God bless you the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forever amen please remember the program tomorrow for every one of us in Abuja the glory summit make sure you are there the details will be displayed God bless you <laughs>